President Trump met with leaders of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints during his brief stop in Utah. 11 News reporter Landon Moore joins us now. Landon, the president went on quite the shopping spree at the Welfare Center. Yes, he sure did, Madison. President Trump was in Utah only a few hours, but it didn't stop him from doing a little grocery shopping. And apparently, he really likes tuna. I've just come from touring Welfare Square with Senator Hatch and some amazing people from the leadership of the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints. Before heading to the Capitol to announce changes to two Utah national monuments, President Trump visited with LDS church leaders Henry B. Eyring, Russell M. Nelson, Gerald Cosse, and Gene B. Bingham. The church leaders took Trump on a tour of the Bishop's Storehouse and Deseret Bakery and taught him about the church's welfare and self-reliance programs. This is a, simply an example of the, what we do across the world. The idea being that we think we have an obligation to God to look out for the people who, who would, without our aid, have tragedy in their lives, either poverty or, or hunger. A recent example of this aid is church assistance after Hurricane Harvey. The church sent 50 semi-trailers of food and other supplies to the area. President Trump yesterday praised the church for its humanitarian work. The Latter-day Saints, the job you've done is, uh, is beyond anything you can think of. In 180 countries, taking care of people the way you take care of people. Later at the Capitol, President Trump described his experience at the storehouse to the crowd. I went around the store. I wanted a nice can of tuna fish. <laughs> and they had plenty. They really help people. President Trump is the 17th U.S. president to meet with church leaders or visit church property. President Ulysses S. Grant was the first president to visit Utah when it was still just a territory in 1875.